warning, this video is intended for audience who are 13 or older. If you are not 13 or older, please fuck off and tell your parents to moderate what you watch online. William, hey. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, oh, hey, I don't have an opening for this for this week's episode, by the way. When do we ever have an opening at this point, man? I don't even expect ah, we, we, it. We, 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 we've been having an uh, opening, you know, right? We had, like, one you opening know? since the last time we've recorded. All right, and that was literally the last recording where we had something of an opening. Every other time, we don't yeah, have an know. opening, and we just mentioned it at the end. Like, oh, yeah, by the way, you're listening to this, just to let you know. <laughs> uh -huh. You are listening to, you are listening to our weekly unnamed no. tokusatsu mm -hmm. podcast. No, I did not supply this. <laughs> I was well, not a part of this. Who, I did not who have done the intro way extremely early on, and not 15 minutes after the fact of, of the recording. And so, hey, friend, you listen with that's you with a person who reminds me to do the opening as we discuss the latest yeah, Super Sentai series, Osama Sentai King Ocher. For once you actually Oh, by it. the way, the next Sentai series has been trademarked, by the way. Already? Well, yeah. We're only 28 episodes in. Right? Because that's the thing. Like, the Sentai does not get trademarked until, like, December. Like, we are not supposed to get this trademark until December. And the fact that we're already getting a, uh, getting the next Sentai trademark already is insane. Is this supposed right? to make me feel good? Or should I feel worried about this in some way? Yeah, like, people are speculating. Right, you know about this. Wait, right? Oh, what's it called, actually? Now that I think on it. Uh, it is called uh Baku Kage Sentai Bond Boomger. All right. Hmm. Uh, First of all, it sounds very dangerous to close to um. Yeah, uh, yeah, okay, yeah. I figured. Um, I was thinking Bukake for a second. Okay, don't. Well, actually. Call me, hey, you, hey, look, babe, babe, it could be whatever you know. Hey, if you want it to be Bukake, it could be. You okay, know? I don't want it to be, but like, this just like first of all, this is a goddamn tongue twister. That's a lot to say in a whole name, you know. Oh man, wait, wait, wait. You think this is a tongue twister, but everything up until this point hasn't been. Okay, hold on, because here's the thing. Um, Royal Sentai King Ojer, okay. Um, oh, it's called have a, have a, Osama Sentai okay, King Ojer. Okay, Osama right? Sentai King Ojer. Okay, fine. Uh -huh. Um, uh -huh. well, I'm trying to remember what the how Avatar of Sentai Dawn Brothers, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, uh -huh. let's see. Last, what was Zenkaiger? Kikai. Was it just wait? What was it? Kikai, cause that's machine. Kikai's machine. Oh yeah, Kikai Sentai King Ojer. Uh, Zenkaiger, I mean. Hello? Yeah, 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 uh-huh. Yeah, uh, and then I think for uh, Kira Major, it was... Uh, Machine. Machine Sentai Kira Major, right? Yeah. Those are those I can pronounce fairly easy. Uh, hold on, let me see how... Ba Bakuage Sentai Boom 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 Jur. Okay, you see where the issue is here, right? You see, you uh, see well, we these are made for the Japanese speaking on, because you know Japan is well known for the letter B in their dialect, you know, right? Yes, that is something they're very well known. And that for. is my favorite letter of the Japanese alphabet. Their their B, you know, right? Yeah, yeah. Would you like to expound on why you like the letter B? I don't know. What, what Wait, do I just like the letter B okay, is cool. Okay, all right. You know what? Never mind. Hey, look, because the letter B, you can do less. Hold on, hold on. Oh, wait, does it pull up? Okay, there you go. <laughs> I don't like, I don't think you understand us, and I'm, I just, I'm tired. I don't know how, but I feel like I've aged 10 years just because you did this. Uh... Hey, look, hey, look, this week's episode is Freaky Friday. <laughs> Yes, just like the we, good one, by the way. Yeah, just like Freaky Fanta, we have and the one without Friday. Vince Vaughn, by the way. The one without Vince Vaughn. Yeah, I did not realize that was that, what that what that, that movie was supposed to be. Really? Yeah, the movie Freaky, mm -hmm. starring Vince Vaughn, was supposed to be a reimagining of Freaky Friday. Really? <laughs> What do you mean? The movie is about a girl that switched places with a body, with a serial killer. No, it's just that I didn't realize. No, I mean, no, it makes the sense. The movie is really called Freaky. No, 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 like. Okay, no, I may have misunderstood what you meant, but it's like. I thought you were, you were kind of saying. 
for a second like it was like well i mean i guess it is sort of a parody but i figured it'd be sharing more like story elements with freaky fight and eh, don't worry about it i'm tired i'm eating my food <laughs> let me regain my energy i give up on this already mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. anyway yeah hey, to... hey, everyone wakes up with their with their body with their body swap and everything right, because you know? the um what was his name? Just ninja, ninja, ninja dude. Boy, I don't know. But look, look, it's gonna take a while for us to learn all these new characters. I'm just gonna call him the ninja bum for this for the time being until I bother to learn. Right, <clears throat> right. Anyone that right. isn't named Kamijin and Doug Dimabug, right? I'm not gonna give a fuck <laughs> about you know, right? Okay. By the way, his name is Doug Dimabug, right? I reached the point where I'm just right where we support. I just don't bother remembering names at this point. I'm just gonna give them easy. Easy parody names, okay. you know, right? Look. Like how Rita's assistant's name is Morbius, right? <laughs> Got about that. Um, did we give an official name for Yanma's like fucking retainer? Yeah, he has a name, but I don't give a fuck. I, I just call, I just describe as the character that should not be within ten feet of a school. Um, oh yeah, I think we'll just call him Stranger Ginger for now, until we come up with something. Yeah, no, I mean, I rather just refer to him as the character that shouldn't be, that shouldn't be within ten feet of a school. It's we, easier that way. We, okay, to remember. okay. First of all. That's a fucking lie, Austin, and you know it. And second of all, that's more of a, wow, that's more of a tongue twister in the long name to remember as compared wow, to what, Stranger what do you mean? Danger. But you think a character named Stranger Danger is easy to remember that character who should not be within 10 feet of a school? <laughs> yes, that's what I sincerely believe, Austin. Yes, that nah, is exactly what I'm I don't believe that in a bit. You. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, so, uh, Babowski, uh, Babowski switched body with Himeno, uh, Rita switched body with Yama, and, uh, Gira switched body with Jeremy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Also, I was kind of surprised. Uh, there that was no be real thing. correlation on why they switch. There's like no real character learning experience. They just like, hey, these are funny. Hey, th there's a new opening bit, right? We get a new updated opening sequence enough, which I'm kind of really disappointed of, right? I thought that since they were gonna do season, they are labeling this as a season two. We would have gotten a new opening to go along with this, right? Instead of just reusing the current. Yeah, I mean they do some base some. Updates, they change, I, I mean, they do the basic visual changes with that every Sentai season two. Yeah, right. It, but like, but, right, but I was like legitimately hoping that they would switch to a new song, right? I mean, I was to, like, to do right to make it feel like an actual second season of a quote unquote second season of the show, right? No, yeah, because you know, second season, new, uh, different tone, new vibe, new stuff going on. You would kind of expect that, especially right? considering that they actually mm -hmm. officially ended the arc like two episodes ago. Like, yeah. like, that story is definitive end, and so we're actually going on to new content here. But mm -hmm, it doesn't mm -hmm. really reflect that, except in some of the things, like with Jeremy Baramy being added in, showing... Like, also, also, I don't like how things. there's still so many reused shots from season one, right? Like, there's a shot where we see Rita in her old No, outfit. yeah, you see the same with Himeno, too. I'm just like, why don't you yeah, just change... Yeah, she's still wearing her big... Just like, I feel like, at this point, you guys might just... You might as well just film an entirely new opening sequence at this point, you know, right? No, yeah, I mean, at least give them, like, the updated looks or something, you know? Right, like, 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 like there's, like, the shot when they're still on their Megazord, and they're flying, and they fall, it's like, oh, wait, that's just their season one outfit. And Jeremy Barry is still not included in this group shot of them flying... Of them falling downwards, you know, yeah, right? You like to see when they, would, right, when they do what the, tra they do the trampoline jump, right? You know, Jeremy Barry's not even in the shot, you know, right? I feel like at this no, point yeah. you might as well should have just updated that shot, you know, right? No, yeah, because he's definitely a part of the group now and everything. You think you want to do right? that? Yeah, to like, like, like they that. gave him, like they even updated him in the in the opening sequence and everything, but like they just didn't bother. <laughs> like with all these other shots, you know. Yeah, I know, and it's a little disappointing in seeing it, but. You know, I guess I don't know. They have a budget, you know. But then again, they do use. Oh yeah, they don't. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, they didn't steal enough of Common Rider's budget, you know. <laughs> yeah, right. they didn't steal enough, so they couldn't. They couldn't quite afford it, you know. It was all put yeah. in the CG. Yeah, statue. but hey, but hey, this is. Yeah, but hey, everyone gets body swapped. Everyone's doing things as the other person, you know. Oh hey, you know, hey, look, Rita, Rita says, hey, look, you know, hey, it doesn't matter, you know, hey, COVID, hey, look, I'm always COVID, co co COVID conscious, you know, right? But I don't wear the mask to hide my face. I wear the mask because I still believe in COVID. I don't care. I don't care about Neopetopia and their anti-vax view, you know, right? <laughs> hey, new headcanon, new headcanon, uh, 
Neopetopia is full of misinformation, you know? Because they're, right, the you know, they're the internet technology, right? They 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 succumb to uh, information. Uh, to just they, <laughs> this information they, really they, they just they just accept whatever fact as truth and is immediate. And <laughs> once something new comes out, they immediately dissuade it. They just say, yeah, oh, wait, no. So they just immediately accept it. I mean, look, it's on the internet, that. you know? It has to be true. We're the only countries with internet. Who else could be posting it except us? Oh yeah, exactly. Right? Oh my god, fucking how did they not win? I just keep thinking about like Neopetopia just being like the technolo- uh, being the technological uh, giant that they are. You think they would have ruled the world by now? Good lord, what the fuck? They could literally just mm-hmm. mi- spread propaganda and just basically lie about whatever shit. Yeah, but they the problem is TVs. not every other country have internet, so right. So anyone else? They would only they would only be spreading disinformation can mean among themselves, right? Oh um, yeah, I suppose. But then there's also the fact that the TV is um, uh, they have those float, giant floating screens TVs that are, like shown to the general populace. You know, because I'm like, mm-hmm. you, could, you could just do a deep fake AI of whoever you wanted to, and then just fucking like <laughs> ro- like spread misinformation that way. It's like, oh, he said it, it must be true. They wouldn't know better. How would they be able to discern the truth? Because it'd be not, it wouldn't even be obvious. They fu- How are they not ruling mm-hmm. the world? Anyway, let me move off this bit, because it, I'm just... Now, it's not even a bit. I'm just buying bog on how near the Petopia is yeah, yeah. the bottom of the barrel. Um, <laughs> yeah, but hey, look. Hey, look. Yeah, look, yes, yeah, so everyone change. Look, everyone's demeanor is changing. You know, everyone says everyone's there, they're doing how they would act, right? You know, like, like you have both... Uh, Babowski in Himeno, so she immediately starts working out in her body. Also, I'm very right? confused. When was it ever established that Babowski ever like weightlifted or did any kind of exercise? I mean, they got. <laughs> you, you know, right? I guess he's supposed to be the big show. I mean, I guess he just says like, "Hey, your body is small and frail, like a woman." You know, right? <laughs> you have this small, frail female body. You know, <laughs> wait. Right? So, he, so Babowski is secretly a misogynist. Actually, uh, is it secretly? Uh, I there is no way you do not think he is misogynist. I am 100% begging uh, he is misogynist. No, as no, fuck, because, you know, no right? because the thing is, I'm, I'm starting to remember how he, like, again, this is all. Like, if he not, is based on medieval feudal no, Japan, no, 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 yeah, then no, he yeah, is misogynist. I, no, I know. What I was trying to say here was the fact that, like, there was the whole thing. Like, again, I'm trying, I'm not trying to misconstrue it, but you can potentially misconstrue it in the fact that, like, um, he sent his sister off as a kind of bargaining chip to another kingdom just so he can get insider information. I don't know if maybe like again they show in the show that it's just a whole like oh yeah we both agreed to do this for our country, but you know mm-hmm. from what we're saying here yeah but you're the only one that's not me. Just like, you know hey you should go risk your life. Right, and pretend to be married to this stranger and sleep in the same bed with him for the better. To... Well, I stay here back in our home country and sleep in my bed, you know, right? Be- yeah, 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 that's very much true. Yeah, he just gets to just rest and <laughs> not do anything. He's like, yeah, it's a good day for me. <sighs> what? I can't believe yeah. we've done this to Babowski. How could we do this? I- he's like, he had my favorite arc. <laughs> Why are we doing this to him? The, po- the boy doesn't deserve this. But anyway, Popowski works out. Uh, Himeno in Popowski? Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. She was, yeah, in, yeah, she yeah. was in Popowski. <laughs> I guess she's just kind of like appalled by everything. Yeah. Uh, also, you know, Rita showing their face, you know, to the world and uh, extremely fucking insane. How they just. Yeah, I figured. I feel like this would have been oh. like a bigger deal, you know, when they do the face reveal. Right. Because the thing is, they treat her such gravity. Big before. deal as part of her character. As her character not to reveal her face. No, right? yeah, yeah, because it's her whole and thing. And this is how we're just casually seeing her face. Or like, like, well, not we, but like the rest of the world, right? Because we've seen her, the audience. We've seen her without her face mask right, on. Right, right. Right? But the thing is, it's and like... The fact that he, she's... Like, no... Right, that Yama's just revealing like this big secret about her, you know, Yeah, right? everyone else was actually kind of wondering about too. And yet no reaction i mean granted they are in each other's bodies so i guess maybe maybe that mm-hmm. they were just in shock but it's just it's just wild i mean that nobody reacted to that at all mm-hmm. also i will i right. will say like during this whole scene where they're all kind of discussing what well, we switched bodies what now i really like how they all per- portray their characters you know or switch into other bodies because they like 
like mm-hmm. I, yeah, so something how, I noticed, acted, like with, how the actors acted as the other characters. Yeah, be, right? because Gira, you know, acting as um, uh, Jeremy Barry was kind of pretty much spot uh, on. Uh, you are know? you saying? Are you saying the actor for Gira betrayed, or are you saying the actor for Jeremy Barry playing as Gira? All right, we should probably get this sorted out uh, before we start. Making... Um. Okay, we'll go with. I think we should say the actor for character playing the character to make it easier. So, like, the actor for Jeremy Barry playing as Gira's character, right? Yeah, the actor for Jeremy Barry playing as Gira. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, that's fair. No, but, yeah, like, the thing is for basically every, every, every one of the actors here, they actually pretty much, like, get it spot on. I mean, it also helps that they Oh, no, have... no, I think the best one is definitely Himeno's actress. <laughs> yeah. She's having a fucking yeah, she's just, playing Rapalski. She's just having so much fun. You can tell us every time she's doing anything, she's right, just like, enjoying it. Especially the scene where she transforms and she does the whole... I the sumo uh, pose, yeah yeah right? she was looking like she was really into it and it was fucking ph- phenomenal right dude. she's so wide eyed as well which I thought was real funny right <laughs> yeah no it was really like, good I'm framing like it's such a funny frame like if you frame at like nine thirty seven you can see like how expressive her face is alright hold on nine thirty seven hold on nine got it yeah it looks like yeah. she's actually trying not to laugh during this uh during this bit right <laughs> to be honest they're all doing it's the wacky shit it is so fucking good dude it, i fucking mm-hmm. love everything yeah. about this just wanted to put that out yeah there. But, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah 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 anyway so back to what you were trying to say beforehand god what was i trying to say beforehand uh you're saying about the actor playing characters oh no uh but no i just wanted to mention that them the, the mannerisms and the imitations of the of the you know the character that they're you know body swapped with phenomenal this is what i'm saying i really liked it mm-hmm. yeah they're doing a really good uh, uh, yeah anyway so right they basically they get yeah, visited so by the space ninja bug space showed ninja, up right, right he's yeah. like hey yeah and so he's like yeah hey hey you guys would never know my secret technique by the way my secret technique is called the body swap arc yeah, which honestly, yeah. I wouldn't have expected at all from this guy. I wouldn't have gotten body swapping from him at all. Especially considering the fact that he's like a high speed ninja, it's not what I would have thought. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's his. Uh, oh, yeah, by the way, secret the part of the main part of the show was that, um, was that Doug Dimmabug was doing like, hey, hey. Oh, fuck. You good, dude? Hey, uh, what, 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 what do you. What, hey, uh, what do you need to start uh, doing your master master plan of killing people, you know? Right? Who's first? Who's up next? Uh, uh, Copy Jim was like, hey, uh, what do you do? But he's like, hey, no, you fucked up. Uh, so no, but then Ninja Bug Man was like, "Hey, I got a plan. I got a plan. Let, let let me cook. Let me cook. I got this. I got this." Uh huh. Right. Yeah. Right. And be, but basically they're doing it under this rule that uh, Doug Dimmabug basically says like, "Oh, we have to just make them fight each other and just basically end it, uh, edit themselves so that we don't have to do all the work." That kind of thing. Even though it's so that he could easily just end them, so I don't know. Why like this? Like the fact that he's making them do work is actually more work for him to do than him just doing it himself, right? No, yeah, but again, we have to kind of remember this is a guy who can literally do whatever the fuck he wants, and he, so he's just like, mm-hmm. well, I do, I don't really want to like ha- have to take care of them myself, but I do want them gone. I'll just get my lackeys to do it, and then you know. They'll they'll go ahead and sort it out for me. I'll I'll get to uh, just keep swinging on my invisible play set, which, <laughs> which is wild. But anyway, um, from here, I mean, the idea here is that uh, Space Ninja Bug, uh, we're not gonna remember his name at all. But yeah, Space Ninja Bug, uh, essentially is like, oh yeah, because you all are the wackiest fucking characters I've ever fucking seen. I'm just gonna body swap you and just let the chaos unfold. And the, but the, yeah, honestly, you know, right? yeah. honestly, it's a pretty good plan considering the fact that the moment, like, um, like, okay, right? Because uh, they're still uh, established. These keys uh, are still doing their own thing. No, yeah, I'm right? trying to. Like, I'm trying like, to like, come like with, everyone uh, here is just work. It's just political work employees and not actual friends. We're all just work friends, you know, right? Like, like yeah. afterwards, I don't want to see any of your face. You know, I'm going home and I'm doing my own thing. Do not, do not he contact me out of work. For any reason. No, yeah, right? yeah, because you get, like, he, like, th- this is what I was trying to say. He on uh, like, in Babowski, alright, mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. is basically 
just just because she looks looks at the whole country around her and decides, like, oh, I hate it. It looks fucking ugly. I'm just gonna cut everything up. Even like she's cutting up ba- like co- like I'm not. Why was I gonna say that? Um, crops. Yeah, it's crops. I was about to say corpses. Mm-hmm. Good lord. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, she was basically just like gets rid of all these crops that are not even ready. Like for harvesting, and it's just just ruining the food supply. Like immediately afterwards, it's the most fucking insane shit. Also, apparently, um, her team of medics can, you know, through a massage, uh, like, what's that? Just just shoot lasers out of their face, which is the most wild shit. But basically, yeah, they all have their own political ends and means. But but they're basically just kind of being selfish and doing these things to. You know, mm-hmm, right? That just fucks with the kingdom in some way. Because you have Babowski in Himeno, um, essentially overfeeding like the population. Oh, you know, they're definitely they're definitely fucking each other's country up. Yeah, which is insane. I like. No, it makes sense. You know. No, right? yeah, for sure. Because especially now, now the world knows what obesity is. I guess, um, or the American problem of obesity. And hey, hey, look, hey, look, hey, look, hey, look, hey, this will awaken something in someone in Japan, you know, right? I'm pretty. Hey, uh, look, <laughs> I'm sorry. hey, don't go on deviate or in search of I just, I right? just remember the Joker, uh, the Joker YouTube video where he just goes like, uh, he calls a, the fat fetish artist. Do you remember? Have you ever <laughs> seen? You've seen that one, haven't you? No, I you don't haven't think seen so. it. Oh my god, that's Hold the on. most. It's the well, who was this by? Who made this video? Uh, hold on. I don't remember for the life of me who, who the user was, but I do have the... Do you have this favorite or something? It, it was a really fucking funny video, dude. Okay, here we go. Hold on. Let me copy the link real quick. It's like oh, a minute 27. Boy. Watch it at your own time, but it was just fucking funny as yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, Because it's literally just Joker uh-huh. saying, Oh yeah, fat fetish artist? I want you to draw someone that is not fat. And the artist is just like, what the fuck? That's my livelihood. It, watch it it's pretty fucking great what the fuck is this? okay i'll watch it okay i'll watch this i'll watch this later jesus christ but yeah yeah it's i look yeah yeah look yeah so every yeah yeah so then uh rita in uh in in uh in yama's body sends everyone to jail hey 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 you download some hey you download porn jail you download work you download not porn jail uh escape key jail uh you press shift five times that's jail incorrect password what jail Right? Yeah. Uh, setting a new password, jail. And this is... Setting a new, setting a password without a, without, uh, without, without a number and a special character and two uppercase and a lowercase, jail. <laughs> believe it or not, uh, believe it or not, uh, hey, not charging your, not having your phone at 100%, jail. Jeez, Louise. <laughs> and then you have like, um, hey, that's Yama. still my favorite. Hey, that's still, that's still one of my three favorite moments from Park and Rec. All right. You know. Oh, is that a is that a bit from Parks and Rec? Okay. Wait, have you not seen that from Parks and I Rec? I have not seen. Okay. That's the Fred okay. Armisen meme okay. from Parks and okay. Rec. Okay. Okay. We. It's very clear. I mean, you. I feel like you definitely seen this clip. It's either I right? have or I've forgotten, but either way, it's. But you do. I mean, I feel like you've seen the clip, but you don't know that it's from Park and Rec, because it's just a one-off moment that happens in the show that's just so fucking hilarious. No. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'll get if you. Sh- oh, there you go. We are shooting YouTube links everywhere today, but okay. Yeah, hey, look, man, three to be off for sure. Yeah, yeah, I mean, this is only forty-five seconds. You can actually just watch this right now. Yeah, this is where this, this is where this this meme comes from. It's from Parks and Rec. Oh yeah, okay. No, I remember this now. Okay, <laughs> you're right. I did see this. I remember. I'll watch yeah, it this, yeah, it's yeah. So Parks and Rec. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, but uh... but yeah, but yeah, yeah, but yeah, but Rita sends everyone to jail. But then uh, Yama lets out a bunch of dangerous criminals. You know, Yama's the type of person to let a criminal crab walk, crab walk, walk up a bunch of walls and escape jail. You know, right? Oh god. And then, and then let a two, like and then that. let a two week manhunt looking for this criminal to. To be captured, right? Yeah, I hope. Hey, that is that How is a truly it? American current event joke that it's gonna that no one is gonna understand if you don't live in America and you don't live between the week if you're not and you weren't sentient between the week of of uh August thirtieth, two thousand twenty three and September thirteenth, two thousand twenty three. No one is gonna understand this reference, alright? I don't understand it. I don't, oh I wait, don't, have you not heard about this? I've not heard about it. 
just... There was a guy that crab walked out of jail, right? And and and, and had a, and had a and the last week has they've been looking for him. They finally caught him today. <laughs> Have you not? Uh, okay, no, like this is literally. Look, I'm just gonna share the clip. Oh my I'm gonna God. share the frame. Oh, no. This is actually how he got out of jail, out of prison. <laughs> I thought you. I'm sorry. I, I love how there's a giant big red circle. Like, yeah, oh, there's only two God. fucking person in this fucking frame. It's definitely not the guy that's fucking standing, that's crab walking out of the fucking prison. What the oh, fuck is up with What a fucking useless red it's circle. Just, it's the most wild shit I've heard. Someone actually crab walked their way out of jail. Oh, also the worst part is this is the second time this has been committed. By the way, a person <laughs> did this originally. Right, and they, and their best friends like, we're just gonna put up some barbed wire. That'll stop them. Wait, wait, wait I feel is like it what the same? Once you grab is... one out the jail, is... I don't think the barbed wire is gonna stop you at that point. You know, I think that point, yeah, I'll take, I'll take the rest of the barbed wire. No, right? yeah, he's gonna figure it out some way. He'll probably crab walk his way in between right, the, the fact barbed that he already wire. He already crab walk off, off the thing. It's already it's it, right? It already shows how dedicated he is to escaping the prison. Yo, yeah, for sure. Jeez, Louise. Yeah, hey, but Yama lets out a bunch of dangerous crew from Guantanamo, <laughs> Guantanamo Bay. Right. You know? And then and then we actually get like some actual like. Oh no! I um... love the bit. Like this, I love the mini scenes where we see people from Neopetopia being walked off to jail. Oh yeah, and, and then... they immediately come back right afterwards, just like <laughs> Rita just goes fucking insane. <laughs> Jesus, this it's just fucking like. Wild, like that's that's a storyline between those two, by the way, Rita and Yama, you know, with them switched over. That's what that's that's basically it. That's the whole bit with them, at least with Himeno and uh, Babowski. They also learned that, like, you know, yeah, there's overfeeding, but you know, if you work it off and then you know, appreciate nature or nature's bounty around you, you have more appreciation for appreciation for uh, appreciation. Sorry, good lord. For yeah. the food that you eat, you know that kind of thing. It's because mm-hmm. they're, they're showing the pauses that they can have on other kingdoms aside from their own, even if they do things that are out of the norm. Because ultimately, these are people who care about the people that they rule over, you know, even if they are selfish in how they get uh, get those means to begin with. Um, because you also see Himeno. Uh, I think what was Himeno's bit there? Like she's just healing everyone or something, and everybody's just a lot better now. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, they overexhaust themselves, right? Yeah, they overexhaust yeah. themselves from work, and so they're just, uh, she's just making medicine, you know, and, you know, learning to be, like, a, like a lot more gentle and less frustrated, that kind of thing, and while taking care of the people there. And, you know, again, mm-hmm. people are like, oh, yeah. yeah and then, these meanwhile, so uh, good, Gira kind of and Jeremy Barry solve racism. They want to get her to deal with racism. <laughs> okay, yeah, they, they, they solved racism. Um, but yeah, it was this whole bit with, oh, what, what exactly happened here? Oh no, yeah, where it's like, oh. Yeah, no, yeah, they're just talking about racism, that's it, they're like, hey, you know, hey, it's been two years, we gotta fix racism, and that's it. Yeah, yeah, and so, you, it's just, it was just really nice, because they, again, both are just trying to act as the other, um, how the other king should act, and, but, like, even then, mm-hmm. through that, it's just kind of like they show, like, how well-meaning they are about, like, their intentions, especially to kind of end the tensions between the Bugnarok and the, uh, humans. But then you get this nice scene where, um, this lady is just like, oh, yeah, no, don't, don't worry about that. I'm not accusing them of being enemies or anything. I'm just worried about them, you know. I just wanted to know about that. It was just a really nice moment, especially because, again, Gira, uh, well, hold on. The actor, Gira, acting out as Jeremy Baramy. Does a really good job of selling that scene, and just like how like mm-hmm. how emotional it would, uh, how how emotionally impactful that would be for um, Jeremy Barry, where he in his own body, and to have him act it out, it's just I think it's great. That's just what I mm-hmm. want to say there. But at least like right. those those two have a, a a kind of story about you know like how people are moving forward in a positive direction, and then you get Rita and Yanma just basically trading criminals back and forth you know th- during this whole fucking bit mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and then I think this is when the ninja guy shows up right yeah yeah he shows like hey look look hey look time for me to cause more chaos you know right 
Yeah. Yeah. He just uh, he comes in burning uh, he, uh, he kingdom down, and you know he of course fights the the space ninja bug. I, we have to find a better name for this guy. I don't want to just call him no, space no, ninja. No, no, let's bug. just call him space ninja bug. As it's just easy enough. They're not, not right, like I'll, cyber I feel bug. like these general characters aren't gonna be relevant enough for us to remember their name. I mean, they're right? gonna be I, sticking with us for the rest of uh, the second season. So. Oh boy, you know, I feel like these guys might die real quickly. I feel like Kami did. It's probably gonna he's gonna play his card rights and survive to the end. To be you know, honest, I wouldn't mind Kami Jin as a final villain because just, he's he's just kind of that kind of character where he would just mm-hmm. you know survive. Oh, he's the definitely last scheming, right? Yeah. He, he's he's planning something, right? No, yeah, for sure. I mean, with a guy like Kami Jin, I really don't think that he would be satisfied just like serving under the what is he the, the current the, rule? Yeah, I guess king of the universe. You know. If at some point, I do imagine he will rest or try to rest power from uh, Doug Demabug. So, you know, mm-hmm. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised as long as yeah. it's done well. But yeah, they're all fighting uh, Space Ninja Bug. Yeah, oh, oh man, this fight sequence is insanely good, right? When uh, when they each team up and fight. Yeah, I mean, right? it's, it's very it's so tightly good. The, or the CGI and the choreography in this fight is absolutely insane. Like, I liked, I liked the right? scene where... um. You know, y- uh, not Yama, sorry. Uh, fucking uh, Gira and Jeremy Barami are about to, like, um, like make an, a dual attack against him. And then the motherfucker just literally flashes to, like, another point in the scene. And then just walks off while mm-hmm. they hit each other. I just thought that shit was really fucking cool, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, yeah, no. This this fight is extremely good between between the both. Uh, be- uh, versus the space ninja. The, the space ninja bug. Right. No. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. He's just cheating and body and swapping everyone. Right. Mm-hmm. Also, I love. Yeah. Then also the scene where uh where Yama as Rita just shoots the guy because he just pops into frame. Like, hey, what's up? <laughs> exactly. It's all really fucking good. Like I'm, like they are really stepping up their game on the action scenes. I am like mm-hmm. it is fucking amazing, dude. Like it's like I remember like. Uh, Kira Major, and then we're to here. I'm like, this is a major step up. Like, holy fuck, dude. Like, it's just impressive. And so, I mean, I think at some point they switch back to their original bodies after basically giving him a good punch to the face. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. after they do enough, and then they finally do the big, big final blow, right? Mm-hmm. But then, oh, but oh, it's basically, the, oh, he's crafty. He's a crafty son of a gun, you know? Oh, boy, he, he always has a trick up his sleeve, you know? Oh, That's yeah, why his yeah. favorite cereal is tricks, you know, right? Okay, yeah. His, the, the Space Ninja Bug is a fan of uh, a fan of the tricks uh, fucking cereal. This is now the lore. That's right, look. look yeah, this is the lore, yeah. So then he, he gets up everyone's retainer, right? As they're about to do the finishing, uh, the finishing blow. Right. Yeah, this is where. But then I guess... everyone stops right before they do their slash. Yeah. Right. And you're like, okay, cool. Yeah, you know, they they did it. They stopped them. Right. Yeah, and then um, you get what is you know another bit of a shocking twist because you know I didn't certainly didn't expect it, but mm-hmm. you know they stop themselves from slashing the retainers, but then the retainers just slash back at them like, well shit, you know. And luckily yeah. we have the preview to tell us. Oh yes. They were brainwashed, of course. Yeah. We're uh, what originally I thought was just going to be a stupid fluff episode actually had way more impact. To it. I really meant that this had way more impact to the end, right? Because the majority of episodes just play off as fluff and just like as a, as a fun, as a fun set piece, like a fun scenario, right? Where it feels like it was just like a filler and like nothing relevant uh, comes up to the end. I mean, the thing is, I don't feel right? like that's entirely the case. Only because we do get like again, it's just the, like that story bit, especially with like Gira and Jeremy Barry, where you know, again, we're shown progress. I mean, like, like, like with forward. the exception of like Jeremy Barry and Gira, like everyone else just is just doing zany antics, right? If well, you think about well, it, it's mostly Yama and Rita that are just honestly doing zany antics, but that, that's about oh, it. Oh, I feel, I feel I like, mean... I feel like uh, Bobowski and and uh, and 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 he made you know, we're doing antics. No, right? you know, they, were, I mean, they were just actively trying to fuck no, up each other. No, Okay, no, I mean that's not that's not entirely wrong. But there is also the fact that like they basically learned that there are other there are positives to the other kingdoms aside from their own because they like they both kind mm. of like try to change it in the, into their own image, and they did bring problems to it. But then they basically learn, um, oh yeah, but you know the people aren't all bad. We did this, we'll help them out, and it's like oh, but 
you know, this place has plenty of, plenty of food. They all care about each other, that kind of thing. Everyone, like here, you know, you know, great health care. Uh, and, you know, you know, they're kind and they will help you out, that kind of thing. They're learning and benefiting from, uh, from each other's kingdoms in that regard. So, like, I feel like in there, it's not nothing. I mean, yeah, there's crazy antics, but I can't say there's not nothing in that. If anything, it's Yamada mm-hmm. Rita. But that's... Yeah, right, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now we're just shitposting this episode, right? Yeah, I mean, they, they actually did just shitpost that whole entire episode, dude. Right, they right, they right, just yeah. trade criminals. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, look, Rita was just trying to set up a bunch of dangerous people off the jail while Yama kept freeing them, you know. Yeah, right? exactly, you know. Mm. No, I'm yeah. not gonna make that joke. I'm not gonna do it. No, nah, I don't know what joke you're gonna make. Well, I was gonna say. All right, this, uh, anything else you wanna say about this week's episode? <sighs> okay, I'm not gonna mention the joke. Um, but this week's episode, oh, man. um, pretty pretty good. That cliffhanger. Uh, fuck you, uh, showrunners. How fucking dare you? This is not the twist I, I did yeah, not want to see my yeah, people. Yeah, you know. I mean, hurt. I think this is. This episode's really mixed up. I feel like there's only strong bits in this episode. Like, this wasn't an episode I really cared about. Yeah, right. Again. I feel like there was not enough lessons learned. Like, like at the beginning, right when they were, or at least with Rita. I mean, not Rita with uh with Gira Yama. I mean, with Gira uh, Jeremy Bermi and Hime no Bobowski. At least they were attempting to learn stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Right, like like they were telling like like hey hey like like was it like what's that stupid fr- uh 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 uh, uh, uh phrase? Uh, you never know until you walk a uh, mile in, in my shoe or some uh, shit, right? Don't judge someone don't judge someone until you've walked a mile in their shoes that kind of thing yeah yeah right like that right like i feel like if this episode was like that where everyone right was doing that right like uh, like because vita and and uh and and yeah would definitely have like they have like no fucking uh like they they were just shit posting this they no yeah they, they didn't did really have it. too much to do with each other and so it's just kind of right. like they just literally just trade. That's right, because that was the thing, right? Because if you think there, there could be, right? Because Rita's entire character is that she's supposed to be all by herself. Oh no! Right? Yeah. And she doesn't rely no. on every on and everyone. But if you look at Yama from his kingdom, he actually relies on his people, right? And like at everything, you know. No. Yeah. He's, right? Yeah, I do agree with that. There definitely could have been more with uh, Rita and Yama in that regards because. She right could... for them to learn to learn about each or at least learn. No, yeah. But first, she, like, she... for them to get like actual character growth, right? Like I like we have to learn. Hey, look, man, look, look, look. You don't have to do it by yourself, right? Like just be like, because Yama doesn't just have his his routine. Right? He has like he has like all of his citizens, you know, right? He has, he has the he has the three hacker people or whatever the fuck, right? right that right. are also mm-hmm. there with him. Right, yeah. I don't know what Yama could learn from uh from Vita's kingdom. You. I was thinking maybe it would have been more along the fact of like, the only thing I can think of would have to be something like Oh, why are Vita so so cold? Right, like you have to, right, like like right. She the reason she she has to stay strong for no, her yeah, kingdom, because he, he could have he could have learned how hard it was for her to to actually make judgments in her court cases because I would imagine oh you, yeah, yeah yeah oh yeah that's good that's good uh-huh, you know, uh-huh. and then right and then you know he has some more of appreciation for her like maybe he had, makes yeah for the off, justice uh, system you know no, right well, that and I was also thinking maybe he had more appreciation for Rita in general and and the fact that like you know he sees he sees her as standoffish and cold and he's like why isn't she as warm of a person but then realizes the burden that she has. And then it's like, man, maybe I should cut her some slack because this is pretty tough, especially if he has to judge criminals. That could be something. But I, mm-hmm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't. I mean, I can't really think of anything else, honestly. But that's like the one thing I can think of. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's like I definitely feel like there could have been more. They could have done more this episode, but they definitely was. They did. They definitely did. did. Did shit post a lot this episode, you know? Yeah, I mean, it wasn't so bad, though. I mean, the episode was still really fucking good. And, oh, my God, that fight scene was actually phenomenal. It's actually... Yeah, really no, good. the fight scene was good. The fight scene was good, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. All right, uh, that's it. Hey, anything else you want to say? No, no, I'm good. All right, cool. All right, all right uh, I guess that's this week's episode. All right, uh, Kate, thanks, bye. William, so so I, so over the weekend I saw I saw my big fat Greek wedding story, right? Why are you kidding me? We just did this in an other recording. Why are you? I don't being... know. Wait, hold on, wait, 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 I forgot. Sentai comes after, or the Sentai upload comes after the the cover <laughs> upload. 
But that's not the point. I'm not here to okay. talk about my big fat Greek wedding three. All right, that's not the point. Then okay? why mention it? Why are you talking about okay, it? Okay, so I wanna, so I wanna set it up. Okay. So, right? okay, so at right. the theater, mm -hmm. right, since it's October right now, right, there's apparently a new mystery Fanta flavor called Freaky Fanta. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> it's called Freaky Fanta, and it has no flavor. <laughs> Wait, first of all, huh? Also, why well, haven't yeah, you so thought of this before? And third, how are you going to have a, 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 a soda called Freaky Fanta, and it has no flavor? What did they do? It's it's real fucking funny. Like I was just so so so, so, so you know those those uh, those those machines, the the Coke machines, right? Mm -hmm. I was just at the start menu, right, and I clicked on it. So Freaky Fanta is not grouped with Fanta. It is off in the corner. It's like how it's like how in a menu, it's a secret menu that you have to collect. You have to click through the menu to find. Like it's like this just like this uh -huh. random mystery Fanta flavor, right? Uh huh. So I guess you have to go looking for it then. Yeah, it was, I drank, I was like, and then I don't know what flavor this thing is. And apparently, according to everyone else online, no one else can figure out what flavor, uh, can't figure out what flavor. Uh, people are saying it's blackberry, I was like, sure, why not, okay, sure, I'll, I'll go along with it. I mean, I couldn't mm -hmm. figure out the flavor for this, but yeah, yeah, so when I was watching my Big Fat Creek 3, I just noticed that there was like this mystery fancy flavor, it was insane. I was like, huh, I'm so, I was like, man. I'm, I'm sorry, but they say... The zero, the zero sugar drink is a 5D drinking experience. What does that mean? What the fuck mean? does that mean? Yeah, exactly. That's what why I'm does... asking that. Because if you go into the article that you sent me, <laughs> you scroll all the way down to the last question, go to the, like the second to last paragraph, and you'll see, lastly, Fanta shared that the zero sugar drink is a 5D drinking experience. <laughs> like, what does that mean? <laughs> like, what is 5D <laughs> to you? Because I, I can understand 4D. Because in 4D, there's at least a concept that I can go off of. Like in 4D movie theater experiences, where you get like the like the sound, the chair moving, you get maybe you'll get sprayed in the face with some water if they go through a water scene or something like that. Like that's something I can understand. It's to immerse you into the another medium. But what does 5D mm -hmm. mean? Like what, what's, what's the other one that I'm experiencing? Right? Like 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 I did it. How do you apply that? Actually apply that to a drink? Right? Yeah. Look, what am I supposed to do? Just bathe in the soda? Is that my 5D experience? <laughs> oh, man. Am I supposed to take this mystery fanta home and use it in cooking? Right? Yeah. Like how people cook stuff in Coke? Or do they? Or, or are they expecting you to get a, some kind of out-of-body experience just by drinking this Fanta Zero Sugar drink? Because if anything, the only thing <laughs> it's going to do is just drive me into a coma from the lack of sugar in there. Anyway, I guess. So yeah, that was, that was something that happened to me when I go when I went to saw the great movie of My Big Fat Week Wedding Three. I hate that you tied this together. I really. Do. <laughs>